We started this project um, on a live, and we're going to show you part of that and then bring you all the way to this point, which is one coat of DIY paint. And we're going to show you the new IOD inlay. So this was given to us by Joanne AC, I think. Yeah, back porch offering. It is already painted and it's super cute, but we are going to repaint it. It matches that mirror. It does match that mirror that we just sold. So we, this is already painted, but we're going to go ahead and repaint this. Um, we probably would have spent up to about $10 and we're going to yeah. sell it for $59.95 painted. Skeleton key is like a grayish blue, but it just depends on the light. But it's definitely blue. It's so it, it can be all the colors. It's even got like some green tones, depending on what lighting you see it in. It's one of my favorites because it hits all my favorite tones, like the greens, the grays, the blues. It's it's just super versatile and it looks good white wax too. Sorry, I'm going to fix this and paint it like neat, but right now I'm trying to get it in all this detail. Did you just get paint on my Lehigh sweater? I don't think so. I already have copper patina on my Lehigh sweater. It's the end of the season. <laughs> just gives you an excuse to buy more swag from the Booster Club next year. So I'm going to add an extra coat on here. You want to add your inlay when you are on the, your last coat of paint. So however many coats it takes to make it Whatever. How many ever coats it takes to make it not translucent? I don't know. You know like, so you can't see through it. What am I trying to say? You want good coverage. You want good coverage before you add the inlay. So I'm adding the second coat, and then I will go ahead and get the inlay on there because it has to stick because it's actual paint. Don't forget to paint the sides because that'll be hard to paint. Oh, and you're going to put the inlay on, Zeb. Oh, yeah. Because you're better at stuff like that than me. I don't know about better. That's true. You're better. I could do it, but lining things up, it's kind of your jam. You can pick the paint and products we're using up at jamierayvintage.com. We want it to be nice and thick. I'm using two sheets of this inlay. It comes with eight total. It's not going to take very much to fill up the top of this, and you want to do the painted side down. You can feel it's textured and rough, and that's how you know that side goes down towards the wet paint the middle parts what do you mean the middle so parts? when you line it up remember last time we didn't do that Hold on. you'll notice right along the edge of this design there's not any paint for the inlay right there i'm going to go ahead and trim that off to help eliminate the line that'll go between the two patterns So I want the bird on the pattern to fit squarely on the table, so I'm adjusting it for that. I'm not going to trim the whole pattern off because these inlays can actually be used multiple times, so I'm just going to leave it an entire square, and then when we remove it, I'll let that be part of the pattern that's on here so that I don't have to mess with cutting it. Once you get the inlay down in place where you want it, don't move it around. You want to kind of put it, it's like a transfer in a lot of ways, you want it to be where you want it when you lay it down because once that inlay gets wet the paint's going to start activating that and you can smear it which you know wouldn't be the end of the world in this case but you want to be careful that you don't move it around and then i'm just going to pat it down with my finger and make sure i've got good contact all across the paint with the inlay the next step once you've got it laying down on your paint nice is to just get it wet all over you don't want it dripping dripping sopping wet but a nice misty damp and then once all of this dries, the paint and the paper that's on top of the inlay here, then you can peel that off, but you want it to be really good and dry. All right, I'm having to do a little voice over here, so my voice isn't going to match up with my mouth because my mic wasn't on and Jamie's mic was picking me up across the room. So the paint is all dry on here now, top, bottom, and the paper on the inlay is dry as well. And I'm just gonna mist it again really quick and then peel the paper up off and the paint on the inlay will sit down on the paint that is on the piece, the skeleton key paint that we painted. And that's gonna just peel off real nice and leave the pattern on there. We did get a couple of little lines in here from brush strokes from the paint. If you don't want that, make sure that you're using a little bit thinner paint or you can even mist your paint before you set the inlay down. 
and that'll help it smooth that out a little bit. We like the brush strokes. We're going to go with that. It makes it look like it's got like this old time crackle feel, which we're really loving on this piece. Like a boss. <laughs> if you don't want this much texture in your inlay, then you need to put a thinner coat of paint, but we put the DIY paint on there really thick so we get the nice aged crackle situation. All right, now we can paint the legs. We'll wait for this top to dry, do a little bit of distressing just to smooth that out and then seal it and I think we'll be done. Yeah. I'm gonna hand sand this with 220 grit sandpaper. I've just got a wood block that I'm using here to keep it all nice and flat, but I don't really wanna take much more of the inlay off since we already have kind of this crackle effect going on. I just wanna smooth it out. That way it's not rough to the touch because we're going to be waxing this. Also just a light distressing on the edges and the legs kind of makes it nice and smooth so you don't see all those brush strokes on there. It's gonna look real good when we're all done. So just like regular paint, because this is an inlay that is actual paint and not a transfer, you wanna seal it. So you can use a liquid top coat, wax, whatever you like. I'm just using clear wax and I'm gonna seal the top of this. And then I'll come with white wax over the edge and the legs and maybe around the edge of the top, but I really didn't wanna to do too much white wax here because I wanna be able to see the design. Jamie's using DIY white wax on the legs. It's gonna tie in really nicely with the white that's on the inlay on the top of the piece. So I'm just buffing back off the wax. I'll let it sit on here for probably, I don't know, I think I feel like this top needs more. I'll let it sit on for 24 hours and then really buff it, but I'm gonna pull back some of the wax so it's not all chunky. The white wax on the legs, I didn't do clear wax first, so it's gonna be kind of like a white wash, but I didn't want this look obviously for the top because then you won't be able to see the detail. Not a very big piece, just quick, simple project, but love the inlay on this. This is something that we got for free. Somebody left it on our back porch and we're selling for $59.95. So I feel like that was pretty good because we only used like an eighth of all of them because we used yeah, half sheets. of two sheets. So it turned out great. We're gonna list this on our website. We'll drop a link below if you wanna buy this piece as well as all the products. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.